Hello, I hope that you are well and that you're ready for spooky season because that is one of my favorite aspects of fall. So I definitely am. And to celebrate the spooky time of year, I'm going to be setting up my bullet journal for October with a Halloween theme. And to start off, I'm just layering some black and red scrapbooking paper that I will be using for a lot of this setup because I'm going to be doing a mostly black and red theme. And I also used a few of these kind of orangey moon sticky notes and I used one of them for the name of the month, which I just wrote in plain black cursive to match the black and red theme. And when I had all of that down, it was time to add in some stickers. And I'm going to be using mostly this set of kind of skull and body part stickers with flowers. And I just thought that that was a really pretty kind of gothic take on Halloween. And I really enjoyed using them here. And just to add a bit more of a Halloween vibe instead of just a gothic one, I'm also going to be using this jack-o'-lantern washi tape here and there, and in this case I added it to the bottom right corner of the spread. And the right hand side is my looking forward to section, so there I'm just going to be writing down all the things that I'm looking forward to for the month of October. Next up, we have my goals and accomplishments section. And here I'm starting off decorating the spread by just filling in some of the empty spaces around the title with some black and gold washi tape. And layering some jack-o'-lantern washi tape as well as red washi tape at the bottom of the spread to make things a little bit more interesting before I start digging into the stickers. And there I just kept things pretty simple, adding a floral body part sticker to each top corner of the page. next page, I layered some scrapbook paper for the titles. And this page is my highlights page for weeks 1 and 2, so here I'm just going to be writing down some of the best things that happened during weeks 1 and 2 of October. And to decorate the spread a little bit more, I'm layering some more of that jack-o'-lantern washi tape and red washi tape at the bottom of the spread. The next spread is my highlight spread for weeks 3 and 4. And this one I kept pretty simple, just using the moon sticky note for the subtitles of the weeks. And then adding some jack-o'-lantern washi tapes to both sides of the spread and two stickers to the bottom corners. Next up we have my negative to positive spread, and here I'm going to be writing down some of the negative things that happened during the month on the left and trying to put a positive spin on them on the right. And this is a spread that really helps me with my kind of mental well-being, so I really like to include it in my setup. Mm -hmm. 
As for how I'm decorating this spread, well, I just filled in some of the empty spaces at the top with some more of that Jacko lantern washi tape and layered some book pages and a sticker at the bottom right corner and some more scrapbooking paper as well as another sticker at the bottom left corner to balance it out. For the next spread, I'm layering scrapbooking paper and craft paper, which is one of my favorite combinations. And I'm just writing the title on top of that craft paper piece. And since all of that went in the top left corner, I decided to add some more stuff to the right hand side of the spread to balance it out. And there I also kept things pretty simple, layering book pages, scrapbooking paper and one large sticker. The next page I'm starting off with some more washi tape, adding some more of that jack-o'-lantern washi tape to the top of the spread and layering black and red washi tape at the bottom for a bit more sparkle. After that I kept the rest of the spread pretty simple, using a piece of craft paper for the title and adding just two more floral body part stickers on both sides of it. The next spread is my Halloween spread. And there I again started off by layering some scrapbooking paper and craft paper for the title. And adding some more paper to the right hand side of the spread as well to decorate that area a little bit more and balance things out. After that, it was time to add washi tape, my favorite form of stationery, and of course some more floral body part stickers and some of the empty spaces around the spread. And my final spread for the setup I actually kept unspooky because it is my Thanksgiving spread. So for that one I'm just layering the non-spooky papers and non-spooky stickers. As well as adding a few of these leafy transfer stickers just to make things feel a little bit more fall themed. And that was it! That was my entire setup for October. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I know that I really enjoyed putting it together and sharing it with you. I think that this actually might be one of my favorite setups that I've ever done. So I hope you liked it as well. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Have a wonderful spooky season. Be you. Always. Bye!